We are looking to uh, broaden our feedstock base as much as possible with, with the feedstock that we are using nowadays. This means, uh, for example, pushing the borders to, towards using lower quality waste and residue type of feedstock. And then on the other hand, we have the long-term objective, which is more looking into uh, feedstock uh, coming from the lignocellulosic-based biomass materials. We invest annually 40 million euros into research, which is a lot for a national oil company of this size. And uh, of course, it's uh, part of our strategy. We need the research to, to be successful in the renewable diesel advanced biofuel sector. And uh, therefore, we are putting a lot of uh, effort into this. I mean, the majority of our research focus goes into uh, advanced biofuels. Uh, I would say close to 80% of our research budget is related to that. Research is everything. This is a very new process, uh, very uh, difficult and very challenging. And uh, you need m lots of R&D to get it working efficiently. I think this is uh, one of the most promising uh, routes to advance biofuels from, from very diverse base of, of different sort of raw materials. So what we are currently seeing is that we can produce from many kinds of lignocellulosic raw materials perfect quality oil for our process and our process produces great quality diesel or jet fuel. I mean we are looking at agricultural residues like straw, uh, straw-based materials uh, and uh, we are also looking into all type of lignocellulosic feedstock. Basically we are interested, uh, I mean this uh, feedstock is containing uh, hemicellulose, cellulose and, and lignin and we are uh, interested to convert these as much into fuels as we can.